Should you buy a CarMax warranty or a GM EPP warranty backed by General Motors? Welcome to the Full Octane Garage. Today we're going to talk about warranties, aftermarket warranties that is. I bought a used 2019 Corvette Grand Sport with 7,500 miles on it. And it still has the remainder of the factory warranty from General Motors on it. And I plan on keeping this car a while, actually a long while. I don't plan on putting a ton of miles on it, but I could put some. So I decided that I was going to investigate which warranty is best for me. I looked at the CarMax warranty, and the CarMax warranty that, that they had uh, optioned for my car when I was getting ready to take delivery, for some reason, I was only able to pull up a $300 deductible. I thought there were some $100 deductibles out there, but I certainly couldn't find them on the online portion. So, so I have the prices for a $300 deductible, and the other thing with their warranties, they only go out 60 months. So, 60 months. 75,000 miles, 60 months, 100,000 miles. Those are the two ranges. I was looking at about a 75,000 mile uh, program. Their prices are almost $1,600 for 60 months or 75,000 miles. That's a $300 deductible. So anytime I have an event that I have to take it to the dealer or take it to CarMax or a CarMax approved dealer, it's gonna cost me $300 to get that checked out. Now, if I wanted to get 100,000 miles in 60 months, or 60 months, it was going to be about $1,800. Seemed a little steep for me. I've heard really good things about the CarMax warranties, but it is not truly backed by CarMax. It's a third-party administered program. I am a little leery of any third-party administered program. So, I opted to go look at General Motors and their GM EPP warranty. And <clears throat> there's two sources that I typically have, uh, McMillan Chevrolet, and uh, there's one other gentleman, uh, Dennis Fitchner, and I'll have contacts for both of them here. The best deal I found was uh, from McMillan Chevrolet, and they basically gave me a price list of how much their cost is on the various warranties, and they said just add $200 to it, that's what their markup is going to be, and they'll write the warranty in my car. So the good news about the GM EPP warranty is, is that they will do it for a longer period of time. They are a little bit more expensive. Now, I like to go with the zero deductible because I don't like paying anything when I go in. And they have what they call their Platinum program. So I was looking at the Platinum Care program with a zero deductible. And I can go up to 84 months on my car, which is seven years from the time I purchased the warranty. I purchased the warranty in December of uh, 2020. So this will take me to December of 2027. So seven years out it's going to take me. And it will go up to uh, this particular program. It's going to go to 75,000 miles. I doubt I'll ever put 75,000 miles on a, a secondary vehicle. But just in case, it's transferable. For $75 I can transfer it to new buyers. So it's also going to give me some resale value down the road. And if I don't totally use this warranty, I can turn it back in and they'll refund me a prorated portion. So that's the beauty of this warranty. So this program is going to be 84 months or 7 years from the time I purchased the warranty, not the car in service date, up to 75,000 miles. 75,000 miles beyond my 7,500 mile warranty. So it starts from today or from the day I bought the warranty, which was December. And that's going to cost me right at $2,200. And that's a zero deductible program. Take it to any GM dealer in the U.S. I believe they will honor also non-GM dealers if you're in a pinch. Uh, they will uh, cover towing to get you to a dealer. Um, they, ha I believe they have some uh, car reimbursement and some other goodies like that if anything is needed for a longer term. But the one thing with both of these warranties, you got to look at the stuff they don't cover. And I thought that that was a pretty telling story when I was looking at the, at the CarMax uh, one. 
you know, normal wear and tear, you kind of figured that. They do not cover catalytic converters or exhaust systems. I thought, and, you know, shock absorbers, general wear items, clutch plates, uh, the clutch throwout bearing is not covered on the CarMax warranty, but it is under the GM EPP warranty. So they're not going to cover rattles and squeaks and noises and uh, things of that nature. They're not going to cover any uh, uh, convertible tops, sheet metal, bumpers, alignments of body parts. That is from directly from the CarMax warranty. So be careful. Look at both of the warranty programs and compare the things that they're not going to cover. It's real easy for them to say we, we cover bumper to bumper. But what the bumper to bumper giveth, the small print taketh. So make sure you read the small print of what this service contract does not cover. And that's going to be pretty critical when you're selecting one of these plans. So here was my selection criteria of why I decided to go with the GM warranty. The CarMax warranty would only let me go to 60 months. I wanted to go more time. I didn't really care so much about the miles. One thing about CarMax war warranty is I think they'll let you go up to 150,000. So if you're going to drive the tar out of a car and you're going to only keep it for 60 months, that might be the best program for you. That's not the best program for the way I'm driving my car. My car is a secondary vehicle, pleasure use vehicle. So I want time. So I wanted to get the full 84 months from the time of the in-service date. So that's gonna take me uh, seven years out from the purchase date and actually a zero deductible. So it's only a couple hundred dollars more than the 300 deductible CarMax warranty. And it gives me another few years of coverage and it gives me more miles in coverage. And actually it covers a little bit more stuff and it's zero deductible. So for me, the General Motors uh, GM EPP warranty bought from a General Motors dealer is the best way to go for me. I did price out a Hendrix warranty. Hendrix also sells a bumper to bumper aftermarket warranty. Theirs might be a little more comprehensive when it comes to some of the additional things but it cost a ton more. I think I got a price of uh, $2,700 to $3,000 for a comparable program from them, where I was able to get it here for literally $2,200. And uh, it's going to get me everything that I need. So which warranty is best for you? It's really up to you. Are you going to drive a ton of miles and not keep the car that long? Maybe the CarMax warranty is better for you. Read the small print. If you're going to keep a car a long time and not drive a ton of miles, now, the General Motor warranty, they will give you more miles. They'll let you add all the way up to uh, 72 months or 125,000 miles, actually 84 months and 125,000 miles. So if you wanted a zero deductible, uh, 84 month, 125,000 mile warranty from the time that you purchase the warranty, not the in-service date of the car, uh, it's going to be right about $4,000. So you will, for the next 84 months and 125,000 miles, not have anything to deal with other than general maintenance. So I have had the GM EPP warranty in the past. I have used it in the past. It's worked very well. It is really nice because it is transferable for $75. I think the CarMax warranty transfers for $45, so it does transfer for a little bit less, and they will give you some unused proration if you sell it back to them. But I still think the warranty is a great selling point. If you're ever going to sell the car, make sure that you sell it while it's still got some of this warranty on it so that the value will be that much higher. Um, if you trade the car into a dealer, now one thing that uh, it is very clear in the GM EPP warranty, I'm not sure about the CarMax warranty, but if you trade your car into the dealer, the warranty is null and void. It is not transferable beyond the dealer to a secondary party. It's transferable once, so you can't even transfer it to a dealer according to the contract. So you want to make sure that you call GM EPP and sell the rest of your warranty back in the event that you trade your vehicle. If you sell your vehicle outright, $75 transfers that warranty, no problem. So for me, the GM EPP warranty is the big winner. Um, I will provide two names and contacts of people in this list that you can actually reach out to and get these discounted programs. 
not every Chevrolet dealer will sell this program. Uh, there are programs like if you go to a Hendricks dealer and ask them, say, I want the GM EPP warranty, they're going to say, no, 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 we sell the Hendricks warranty. They do not support selling the GM EPP warranty, but they will honor it if you bring it to the dealer for service or, or an issue. So those are some ins and outs that you really want to be careful of. Go to a dealer, tell them that you can get that, if, if they're willing to sell the GM EPP warranty to you, and they give you a price, tell them that you want it for $200 above their cost or you will go someplace else. And in most cases, they will show you the cost and they'll be willing to do it for that $200. If they're not, I got two guys that are willing to do it all day long, use them for many years, and that is absolutely the way to go. So thanks for being with us at the Full Octane Garage. If you found this video to be helpful, don't forget to like and subscribe. Tell your friends about it. And come back often for some new content. We're going to have a lot more content about the C7 and General Motor topics in general. Uh, but this is, particular warranty is good for any General Motors car. It's a GM EPP warranty backed by General Motors. Um, if you buy the CarMax warranty, you can only buy it at CarMax when you buy the car. You can't go to CarMax and say, I want to buy an extended warranty. You can't go there. 30 days after you buy the car from CarMax and say, I want to buy an extended warranty. You have to make a decision at the time you purchase the vehicle. Be prepared when you're purchasing the vehicle or before you purchase the vehicle. Don't wait till you get to the dealership and say, hey, let me pull that contract out and read it. You want to see it ahead of time and you want to be prepared going in there knowing how much the GM warranty is, how much the CarMax warranty is, and make a decision on the fly. Now, CarMax is going to try to roll this into your payment if you're financing the car. Uh, you're not going to be able to do that with the GMPP warranty. So um, be prepared to pony up another couple of grand out of your pocket. If you don't have it, you may want to factor it into your car payment. So those are all deciding factors. So, again, thanks for being with us, and we'll see you soon at the Full Octane Garage for more Full Octane Fun.